mornings. The start to a beautiful, fulfilling day. Important for many reasons in many ways. In Tamil Nadu and some other parts of South India, the mornings start with women folk drawing kolam at the entrance of their homes, temples and other places of importance. Namaste, this is New India Junction. I am Nivedita and I bring to you another postcard from Bharat. Even before the break of dawn in Brahma Mood, women get back and clean the door front with water to proceed with their kolam design. The threshold has immense significance in Tamil culture. This is why kolam, a ritualistic form of floor art, is designed at the entrance as a sign of welcoming goddess Lakshmi and as a symbol of auspiciousness. There are different kinds of kolam designs, namely Kambi kolam, Urupali kolam, Padi kolam. Also, there are special kolams for festive occasions and religious celebrations. Pongal Kolam, Diwali Kolam, Gokulashtami, Tottul Kolam, Manai or Kanni Kolam are a few examples. Kolam patterns can vary from a small one to a rather intricate and labyrinth design. Rice flour and finely ground white stone powder are mixed in right proportion. Using this mix, kolam patterns are deftly drawn with pinches of powder smoothly flowing from between the thumb and the first finger. Kolam is an art of patience and dexterity. Though sometimes it is compared to Rangoli, it is actually very different. Unlike Rangoli, which is a free-flowing art, Kolam art form is essentially patterned around dots. A dotted grid is made first. These are then joined or encircled by lines or curves to carve out an aesthetic design. One can keep adding the dots and increase the size of the pattern. Traditions and culture form the core of our heritage passed down from one generation to another, traditional art forms like Kolam go a long way in preserving this heritage. I hope you liked this postcard from Bharat. Keep watching New India Junction.